Good morning. <laughs> Go for minute. <clears throat> Hi Susanna, thank you very much for last night. We had a an official send off <laughs> for you, for anyone wondering. Well, morning and morning. It's past ten, isn't it? Ten past ten. <laughs> How are you this morning? Uh, uh, I just sent Evie off uh, with the tram, so um, they might join us at some point, but we'll see. Not sure they're going to be that present, because if they're on the bus, I can't look at the screen when I'm on a bus. So, a bit sleepy. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Yeah, I slept in a bit this morning as well. It was good. It was good. It was comfortable. Oh. Right, let's start let's start stream with a nap. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, uh, I'm trying to get comfortable here. Uh. <laughs> We're chased by a giant frog. Which reminds me, just wait until you wait until you get to that point of um of Age of Calamity, just, uh, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, so otherwise, did I just remove my glass? For fuck's sake. <laughs> I had a glass for my water in here. What did I do? I, uh, I put it through to the kitchen, obviously, because I'm an idiot. Two seconds. I'll be back at two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, whatever. However that one goes. <laughs> I don't even remember where that one comes from. I know it's a British saying, but it might actually be more a, a, a very localized one. Um, I'm going to have to look that up. Fuck it. <laughs> it's one of those days. Just saying. Let's see. How, where does that originate? Where does that originate? Give me a second, chat. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. It's definitely not something I made up. <laughs> Doing something quickly with no pause. To do something in two shakes of a lamb's tail means you did it very fast. There are two idiomatic sayings that are related to this term. One may be as old or older than the current idiom in two shakes of a dead lamb's tail. How, how is that fast? If it's like... <laughs> Two shakes of a dead lamb's tail. Or just in two shakes. I'll be back in two shakes. Um, the earliest known publication of... The, why does this turn into a nerd stream? Uh, <laughs> the earliest... Where did that one go? Hello. The earliest known publication of the expression in two shakes of a lamb's tail was in Inglesby Legends by Richard Barham, 1840. The expression is almost certainly somewhat older than that, although the etymology is currently unknown. Synonyms of the idiom that may be found in a treasure are quickly, fast, rapidly... Th treasure? In, th in a thesaurus. Jesus Christ, I can't read this morning. We already spoke about me needing new glasses. Maybe I should just clean these. Uh, <laughs> it's quick, fast, rapidly, speedy. Note that the word lambs is spelled with an apostrophe as it is a possessive noun. Oh, don't get me started on people not using possessive thingy. Uh, apostrophe. Should we quote the saying? Zora? Why are you saying Zora? <laughs> Thesaurus. <laughs> treasure. I, I, read, I read a T word as treasure. And I'm like, never mind the rest of the word. It's thesaurus. So it's like, <laughs> God's sake! <laughs> this this is gonna this this bodes well for me reading NPCs. I said to Soros. <coughs> uh, this this bodes well for me reading NPCs today. Just saying. <laughs> it is a slightly truncated stream. Uh, we should be stopping around one thirty, and I will dump people. 
on something during who is intending to stream today. Um, but that's okay with me. I have got quite a bit to do, so I'll probably put his stream on in the kitchen and get shit done. <clears throat> I have been meaning to clean the kitchen for ages and I just never get around to it. But you have time off, yes, which I spent on other things. <laughs> Oh, Anna, good morning. How are you? Uh, I feel like it's a bit hot. Might just be me. I just drank hot coffee. Maybe drink some cold water. That would actually offset my inner, uh, like, ooh, hang on. My inner temperature, my inter, inner temperature gauge, uh, core, te core temperature, it's called core temperature. See, I'm already struggling with my English. I'm actually just struggling with speaking. It's, yeah. Like I said, it builds well. <clears throat> also, Susanna, playing Age of Calamity, which she is. Did you notice that um, when you got to the tech lab with Robbie and Pura in Age of Calamity, that's not the tech lab you know. It's not Akala, it's not Hateno Village. Speaking of Hateno Village, that is where I'm aiming to try and go today to get to Robbie's lab. <laughs> we'll see where the fuck we end up. <laughs> we'll do caves, we'll do wells, we'll do shrines if we come across any. But I would kind of like to have the shrine indicator which necessitates Hateno. And Hateno has a shit ton of side quests that are worth doing as well. It was not. Um, if you look at your Breath of the Wild map, or for that matter, Tears of the Kingdom, doesn't matter, it's there in both of them, you will find a ruined Close to Breach of Demise, because that's where... You have to think that the map is actually the same as Breath of the Wild. Um, close to Breach of Demise, east of Breach of Demise, I think it is. Yes. You have a... Well, it's a ruin. It, it is basically just the, the bare bones of, uh, of a building standing. That is called the Ancient Tech Lab. That is the Ancient Tech Lab. That's where you see it in Age of Calamity. Because you don't, if you look at the way it's done, it's it's very clean, solid building for that one. And if you then look at, in Breath of the Wild, Hateno Tech Lab and Agala Tech Lab, Tech Lab you will notice that it's more cobbled together. Um, so those are the places where Pora and Robbie went to when um, after the Calamity hits. And that's why you have them in two different places. But a proper, well-stocked tech lab, that's the one that you can see the ruins of in Breath of the Wild. <clears throat> Which is quite interesting, I feel. But then again, I like stuff like that. <laughs> I like details. Details, details. Why is my mouse not working? Hang on. Is my mouse working? Yes, it was just on the other screen. If it stops working suddenly in the middle of everything, it's because I've run out of power on it. Um, I don't normally have it wireless, but I needed the cord for something else. So <laughs> we'll see if it works. And that's running. Breach of Demise. You know where Breach of Demise is. Breach of Demise is... I can't even show you on... <laughs> I can't even show you on... Uh... On Tears of the Kingdom, because we haven't gotten it unlocked. Breach of Demise is where you have these sort of, of, of sandy stone structures. Like, they're sticking in, like, almost bones around each other. Um, and it's where you're running through in Age of Calamity with the rogue-possessed um, uh, guardian that's after you. That's Breach of Demise. Let's see if I can find... Hang on, I can find your map. Not that... Uh, if I take the map and I change the map, can I do that? Can I do that? No, not that way. Here we go. There's the map. 
I'll show you my breach of demises. Mm, I'm just gonna do this and pop a. Actually, can I do that here? Do I have a browser? No, there isn't really room for it. So let's do it on the little one before we start playing. Um, hang on. I don't want any of these to be marked. See if I can actually find this for you. Um, take that one out. Add a window capture. Yes, there you go. I'm just gonna keep keep myself hidden behind it. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can remember where it is. Uh, yeah, because I don't have trouble with that. <laughs> There's Breach of Demise. You see this, if you travel um, west from like Castletown, you have this area here. This is Breach of Demise. That's what it's called. And let's see if I can remember. I might not be able to remember where it is. But we're not too far from the ancient tech lab. And that's where you will... I think that might be it. I think it's this. People can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't think we are told... I don't think I can do that and actually get names on it. I sometimes just use this map for like an empty overview. <clears throat> but you have the Breach of Demise here. I don't know why I felt it was east of it, but it is north, north of Breach of Demise. There's a set of ruins up here. That's your ancient tech lab. <laughs> and that was, that concludes today's uh, <coughs> geography lesson in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> But I thought I'd mention it because I didn't quite draw the conclusion when I was playing Age of Calamity, but in hindsight, I went, oh, oh, that's why. That's what it is. I get it. I get it. <sighs> yes, there is an explanation in Breath of the Wild, I think, why they split up. Hello, Hokihana. Welcome on board. Good morning. Am I actually... Oh, good. <laughs> I had switched it off. <laughs> Is that the right user? Yeah, it's the right user. <clears throat> I was tinkering with those, like, clicky thingies. There they are. Wrist thingies. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. We have a raid party. I didn't even see that. Good morning. <laughs> Uneducated possum. What a delightful name. What a delightful name. Oh, to be an uneducated possum. No worries in the world. <laughs> Welcome in, raiders. I've only just gotten on. So it's good seeing you. Oh, you were playing Final Fantasy. Thank you for that one, Susanna. <clears throat> <laughs> we are very few in here today because a lot of people, well, a couple of people are on the road, so. <clears throat> so it's good seeing you. Let's pop Link in here. I think we stopped at a shrine last time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, like uh, I haven't even started the game yet and there's a raid. Fabulous. <laughs> How are you enjoying uh, Final Fantasy uh, 16? I hear good stuff, I hear bad stuff, but I think that depends on what people are used to. <laughs> and do let me know if sound is okay on your end. For anyone wondering, I am on my second playthrough, so... <laughs> it's Samaria. It's Samaria Sim for short. <laughs> <laughs> but I like your version too. <laughs> I don't enjoy it, but it was. <laughs> I am damned well getting my money's worth. <laughs> 
I hear both. I hear both. I hear people who hated it on site, but it, where it's... I don't know if it's grown on them a bit like Stockholm Syndrome, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a possibility. I'm hearing... I'm, I'm hearing a cork going... Eah! in the background. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know that feeling. I have games where I've gone. I've damn well paid a stupid amount of money for this. I am getting my money's worth, <laughs> even if I'm gonna hate it all the way. That's true. We should have Copenhagen syndrome. <laughs> but it's kind of funny that I know a lot of non-Europeans who know what Stockholm syndrome is, but don't know what Stockholm is. <laughs> <clears throat> Whew, I'm, I'm slightly overheated. Why am I slightly overheated? It's more than cool enough in here. Do I need to put the fan on a bit? Actually, I probably should. Um, I also had to do a quick run. I have done that. <laughs> a quick run before I started stream because I realized I had my windows in the living room open. And I've seen the weather forecast for today. <laughs> I've seen the weather forecast. So windows closed, or at least, you know, pulled shut <laughs> because that's necessary. Plug that in or the fan ain't gonna run. <clears throat> so um, we're supposed to get some rain. It'll probably just be a drizzle for the rest of the day, but you know, that was actually, let's turn it like that, should be okay. And it shouldn't be too noisy. There we go. Yeah, don't leave the windows open today. <laughs> Even if it's just a drizzle, if the wind is in the right direction, you're going to end up with a wet floor. Or at least a wet windowsill. And Denmark is telling you it's time to leave, exactly. Um, I'll try, I'll try. I don't think there's enough water to wring out of them all the way. <laughs> K.O., thank you very much for the follow. <clears throat> Bad clouds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, all we get is, because it's like about 20 odd degrees, and we get a little rain, and all we get is like 90% humidity, and it's like... <sighs> I know I complain about heat, but the problem isn't really the heat, the problem is the humidity. Because <laughs> you can't do anything without sweating. Good morning, something doing. <laughs> we started the stream out with a with a with a raid from um, uneducated possum. I still love that username. Some of you guys have some fa fucking fantastic usernames. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Evie is swinging by later. Evie is on, not quite on the bus yet, but is traveling. A raid is nice. A raid is nice. It woke me up. So did the coffee. <laughs> You're raiding alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what? If you want something done right, do it yourself. Eighty-four average. Yeah. I'll send you some rain from Vancouver. I'm not entirely sure that that will actually get there, but you know, it's the thought that counts. All right, you're going camping with your grandparents, aren't you? Yeah, 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 go have fun, go have fun, enjoy it. Hope your weather stays good. Don't do too much murder on the stream. Well, you know I can't promise you that. Things die, including Link. <laughs> But as I said, yeah, um, I put Evie on the tram. Should be nearly at the bus place, I think. And then they have like a... Takes about two hours on bus, but it's much cheaper than the train. And the train is doing maintenance at the moment, so you'd have to get on train, off train, on bus, off bus, on train, off train, on bus. <laughs> because they're doing maintenance on the train tracks. And it's like... It, it, and this is a trip that would normally take like between an hour and a half and an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, but because of the all the on and off, 
I can't be arsed either. So there are actually bus options that go the whole way across the country. And um, they are normally quite, quite a bit cheaper. Um, but much like me, Evie suffers from motion sickness on buses. I have to sit <laughs> looking straight forward or out the window. I cannot read on the bus. I cannot watch anything on the bus. <clears throat> You're getting ready for bed. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to limit the link aside. I saw a, a cross on my, um, on my, on my hub, so obviously died somewhere. <laughs> Thank you very much, something doing. I take it you're streaming from 1.30, right? I'm sad I couldn't catch the, um, you were doing Skyward Sword yesterday. Did you do the boss rush? Boss, 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 boss rush. I am having a speech problem this morning. <laughs> that is the plan. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> we had a send off with um, Susanne yesterday, who is, well, leaving for next nearly a year on Tuesday. I I'm like, why is my screen so small? That's because I haven't actually copied it over. <laughs> Just ignore me, okay? <laughs> that was better. Now I actually have a screen where it's like, proper sized <laughs> wow it's dark in game what the hell? well it's 2 30 in the morning and it's raining fair enough that tower we have there is not lookout landing okay so is it no that's another tower okay i i'm going to oh god there's so much to do Shh, i'll get back to you okay um <laughs> Farouche! What a majestic noodle! <laughs> Two and a half hour. Really? Oh, you had fun nonetheless. Not the boss rush. Oh god, I remember that one. Oh, I, I managed to forget that one. Fuck. The fun fun island? <laughs> I think I had fun the first five minutes of it, and then I just went like... <laughs> <laughs> I remember some of the mini games in um, first of all I'm gonna do something I think it's still in there oh yeah there's 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 a noodle command that's the dragon thing <laughs> there we go there's something doing a shout out I have I have a thing with the dragons I have a thing for the dragons <clears throat> what? <laughs> Something doing, doing. <laughs> See, told you I can't speak. I can't do anything. There we go. Skyward Sword. <laughs> are you doing Metroid this afternoon? Are you continuing uh, Skyward Sword? Ooh. Enemy camp and me going la 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 la. Oh, wait a second. I have five hearts. Why, 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 you, oh, the game, don't autosave. I know there's an enemy camp. I'm gonna die if I try. What do we even have in weapons? <laughs> Rusty Claymore, two handed axe, a rock hammer, a stone axe, a soldier's reaper, a knight's broadsword, an amber reaper, and a soldier reaper. Yes! Yes, that's right. You stopped right before a. Um, you stopped right before a. Um... Oh, wh wh why did I leave? Hang on a second. Why did I leave? I didn't do the shrine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, this is me playing Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I get sidetracked like. Whoa. Don't judge me. <laughs> Shh. You didn't see that. I'm not coming back for you right now, Cora. That That's going to be later. We're going to do an entire stream of these. I'm just going to mark them off when we find them. And then we're going to do an entire stream of um, basically Cora transportation service. <laughs> Is it? Oh, man. Yeah, I played much in the same way I played Breath of the Wild <laughs> all over the place. Also, because I've only played through, and I'm not quite done with my first playthrough, I still have the last bits of it. Combat training, all right. Um, 
I um, I can't remember where anything is. <laughs> Throwing. I need a picture of this one. Because I failed at that in my first playthrough. I was going to shoot me. Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah, this one. This one. Steady you aimed and throw the weapon at the enemy. All right. Could you let go so I could take a pic? Yes. <laughs> yes, I know how to throw the end. Now it is actually going to shoot me. But I still got it in my... Ow! Bastard. I don't have room for a rusty hole back, do I? I do, I do, I do. Cool. Did I really? Cool. We're gonna throw that one at him. <laughs> there you go, Construct. You can have that one. <laughs> I'm just gonna get another one. <laughs> that was that was lame, Sim. That was that was so bad. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I'm like, me, thunk. <laughs> oh, that, that was that 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 wasn't the first. No, that that was just a tester. <laughs> Throw the weapon carefully. All right. I'm not gonna waste some of my own weapons on this. That one went flying to the other side, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Which button is the carefully? <laughs> I don't know. I think I have a faulty control. It doesn't have a carefully button. <laughs> it is throwing training, that's true. <laughs> that was fun too, though. <laughs> the spear and the whole just going. Funk. Oh, you mean I wasn't supposed to stack them up there? Okay. <laughs> you went to school with a rusty Hallbart, yeah. I'm pretty sure I had someone in my class who could be classified as that too. Nice, thank you. Oh, I picked that one up, of course. Ooh, nice. What are we... Mm, hang on a second. <laughs> well, we'll get more of these. Um, la, la, la. <laughs> oh, I do like that one. It gives me all of 14 hit power. Hit points. Mm. <laughs> Which is basically nothing. <laughs> Well, it's early in the game. <clears throat> Zonite speed. Ooh, I'd like that. Excuse me. See, I'm not a huge fan of the claymores, so we'll drop that one and I'll get a spear and I'll go buck a construct somewhere and get something good to fuse it with. <laughs> I eventually took to the fusing thing. I, I kept forgetting it in the beginning when I was playing it. <laughs> There is actually, I think, one of the shrines where it's like, not a test of strength, but the equivalent, where it actually, I wouldn't say it forces you to to fuse, but it's a hell of a lot easier to do if you fuse. <laughs> it's You're meant to fuse in that one. Hmm. By the way, when we get out, I think we're scanning amiibos as well. And I was thinking long and hard about which amiibo we're unpacking today. And I think I'm going slightly backwards by taking the the first amiibo I actually bought. Um, 
and also has some tie-ins with Tears of the Kingdom, so... It's not another Link one. <laughs> I have so many Link amiibos, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but they're nice. And there are a lot of them, so... <laughs> Um, I'm going to save it before we scan because um, if it's something I know I get in-game, well, we can keep it, but then I'm going to sell it because I'm going to keep it. Um, because uh, if it's something I know is in-game, uh, I don't want it from the Amiibo. I haven't played it in like a month. It's actually been a while since I've played it last as well. Um, there you go. See? Well, we're still going to stick with the one we had from last week, so we're going to scan two today. This is a little link. I do like this one. I like the detail on this one. With the arm and everything. So let's see what we're getting today. But yes, if I, if I get any armor, I would probably sell it instead. Well, there's lots of mushroom. And the mushroom goes everywhere in this. There we go. Let's see what's in it. Two days ago for you. <laughs> this amiibo keeps giving me <laughs> nice broadswords. That one I have used, so we might as well just swap seas. The money I spend on each subsequent link is felt twice as much each time. Yeah. Yeah, I, w I would actually like of, of some of the, like... Maybe give me a horse one. Or... Hear me out. Hear me out, Nintendo. Muzu. Give me... Or King... Oh! Give me a King Dorofin one. I want a King Dorofin. <laughs> and I want it to be the, the... The size comparison to the others needs to be right. <laughs> I, need a, I need a huge... Huge King Dorofin... Um, amiibo. Just saying. <laughs> Of the Zelda characters. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know you didn't mean broadly other characters, but other Zelda franchise characters. Um, a Deco Tree! Yeah, they do. Yeah, I like them too, but it's a little bit like... Please? <laughs> what I was going to do is, this was the first Amiibo I bought. Because I bought mine with Skyward Sword. Up until that point, I wasn't entirely sure what to use the Amiibos for. <laughs> I have Child Link from Majora's Mask where he's standing with the... Is it the Keaton mask? No, it's the Goron mask. I think there's one with the Keaton mask as well because I want that one. But I would love the Fierce Deity one. I really, really would. Link's Awake... I want the Link's Awakening one as well because <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this to come out. I'm always a little bit worried about breaking things. <laughs> oh. Now see, this is one of my favorite ones from Skyward Sword that they released with the HD version. Because um, I think it's lovely because it's Zelda. She's pretty in that one. And because I like the loft wings. Uh, yeah, it's not only has the price gone up, uh, they're also virtually impossible to get. I found a good sale on the like the collected champions from Breath of the Wild. It's been back ordered. I need to I need to contact the supplier. <laughs> Something always goes flying. <laughs> but that is that is a very very pretty. Uh, Zelda one. I'm missing about ten, yeah. I'm the, I'm swift carrot. This carrot is cultivated extensively in villages. It strengthens the legs and hips. Oh, I could use that, man. Oh, that would sell well here. When cooked into a dish, which helps increase your movement speed. <laughs> um, I am definitely getting the new Zelda ones. We haven't got any of these, do we? Cool Saflina. This medicinal plant grows in high elevations such as mountains in the Hebra or Gerudo regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your heat resistance. Nice. Watch me forget that. 
That was also a Queen Sophina. Mighty Thistle! This medicinal plant is known for its sharp thorns and for the fruit it bears. The fruit contains a compound that increases attack power when cooked into a dish. Swift Violet! This I should have been taking pictures of that. <laughs> this vitality-rich flower blooms mainly on cliff sides. When cooked into a dish, the nourishing compounds increase your movement speeds. I really, really should have. I can do that. Yes. Yes, we're all about Canada. Are you kidding me? I am so looking forward to the Zelda one. I think it's pretty. I love the, the look of the. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit in. I'm gonna get strangled on this at some point. We got fabric. Um, but I am actually a little bit indifferent on Ganondorf. <laughs> I'm gonna get eviscerated for that one. I don't have the same nostalgia around the old games, so to me, Ganondorf is just an interesting character, but he's not my type. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Goddess fabric, tough fabric. Told you we're heading towards Satino Village. Uh, it looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Yes, I know. <laughs> Finally got a cloth. Don't get me wrong, I want the Ganondorf because there are so few Ganondorf amiibos. Thank you for the GGs. Right. I think I was heading this way because that is also... What way am I pointing? That is roughly in the direction of Hateno Village, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, you're for a different stream. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't dislike him. I find him fairly interesting. Actually, my favorite Ganondorf. If we have to talk Ganondorfs, my favorite Ganondorfs and Ganondorf agendas is Wind Waker. Also, it's my favorite um, um, character mold. The way he's done. Wow. Kudos. It, it's it's. I covet his um, his outfit, his kimono or whatever it is. Wow. Can I just say it? Can love Wind Waker Ganon. Ganon from the original game. <laughs> yeah. Why not? But I do for... For the... <laughs> for the... Um... For the agenda and for how interesting his reasoning is, I prefer Wind Waker Ganon. Also, I need to ask him where he's bought his kimono because I like that one. Do I have a picture of this? A blue winged heron. No, I do not. That's actually not a bad picture. But I mean, when you look at, at, at Zelda villains, um, I like variations to the theme. So if they're doing a new Zelda game at some point, I would... Oh, there's, a, there's also a staple. Uh, if they're doing a new Zelda game at some point, I would like it to be with something else. Someone else. Either a new, uh, a new enemy or bringing back an old one. Um, let's, go, let's go register ourselves at the... At the stable. Original Ganon Boar's fight. Like, they did an Ocarina of Time, but... For now, fighting a giant hog in Breath of the Wild was okay, but not the same thing. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I don't... I've, I've on purpose been avoiding anything regarding the last bits, and I haven't finished the game either. So I'm not going to spoil you either. <laughs> so please, anyone who comes by, uh, do not spoil the ending of this game, because I still haven't finished it either. Right, let's talk to people. Let's see, as I said, if it offers to bring my horses over, I will say no, because we have a naming convention and these horses are not named the right way. Did you? <laughs> Evie did that with Breath of the Wild going, what's in here? Oh fuck, stumbled into the sanctuary and started the fight. 
boss fight. <laughs> Wasn't intending to do so. Um, oh. I know roughly where to go in Tears of the Kingdom for it, so I am hellishly avoiding that. <laughs> Thanks for coming in such bad weather. Oh. Ember, I like your name. Welcome to my stable. Is it your stable? We deal in all things horse-related. We also double as an N. It seems you're not a member yet. Mm. Our stable uses the Stable Association's membership system, so you will need to register if you want to use it. May I ask your name? Oh. My name is Link. Link, all right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? Sure. Oh. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companion with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. How do you get them from stable to stable? Do you send them through like like the same passages that the fairies travel through or New names for new horses. To be fair, the closer I got the more obvious it became that it was about to happen, but I felt compelled to move <laughs> it's the poke poke what happens if I go in there. Yeah. Exactly. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. Mm. Uh, if you catch one and ride it to register it, uh, it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit as to how many horses you can board, but you are able to swap them in and out as you please. Oh. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, how can I help you? Oh. He doesn't... Wait, wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. Okay. Oh. That's right, it's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. I ain't got any money. Well, I do, but... No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Now this, now then, as this is your first use of Riverside Stable, you get a pony point. Yay! Using a stable earns points. Collecting points grants rewards. Points needed for the right next reward? Ooh. Ooh. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Mm. I do like the new system. Um, you can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Oh, that's how they do it. Thank you for something doing. I figured you would know. <laughs> Check out the ledger for price detail, member rules, and other information. Oh. Come back again anytime. You have a shrine though. <laughs> I need the shrine. I want the shrine. Mine! Gimme! <laughs> Needs it! Now I'm imagining that pneumatic tube the same way in um, Starship Titanic. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> like a really, really, really rude pneumatic tube. That would just be... Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm five and a half. <clears throat> Thank you for the follow, Danton Molotar. Did I actually take the overlays off so they're not working? Possibly. Mm -mm. But thank you for the follow. That was 25 minutes ago. Watch me get lost. Building with logs. I thought it said building with logos, but... Hmm. Told you. My reading ability and my speech... Speech ability today stinks. Just so you know. Be warned. Well, there's only one way up. I take it. There are more logs up there. Watch me fall off a log. I link. <laughs> Now what do we do here? Oh, it's this temple. Okay. Okay. Do I need the other one or can I do this one? I can't remember. I think I ended up using all three last time. I might need them. <laughs> I can't. There's no controlling this. <laughs> just be glad I don't have Ultra Hand in real life. Because that would just go wrong. Would be helpful at work, though. The succubus. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I 
I have like 12 logs. I did that in some of them as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm basically like, I'm going to have to come back for that one, aren't I? Anyway, uh, I don't think any of them were actually needed them. But it is, it, I, I like, I, I'd rather have five logs too many than, than, you know, having to go without one of them. Like, really. But you are right. Who knows? You might need it. I played much of my first playthrough that way as well. <laughs> oh, am I meant to do it this way? Let me build a bridge that is half a mile long because I can. <laughs> oh, it wasn't the Cyrus Ryan you thought it was. Hey. See, I get a much, much better, <laughs> a much better, much more stable bridge. One that I won't necessarily fall off, because I'm very good at falling off logs. It's going well up until the point I start overcorrecting like Link's movements, and then it just goes to hell. See, that's it. I'm gonna take this one for this as well. Leave no log behind. That is my policy. Uh, <laughs> Log delivery man. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, something doing. Have you done? Uh, <laughs> have you done Laurel and Village? Um, in Tears of the Kingdom. I, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. Wow, more logs. Oh my god, I'm rich in logs. The log will save your life, Link. <laughs> but knowing how to use the logs definitely will keep you safe at points. Do I need something longer than this? Well, obviously. <laughs> I knew I was going to need something longer. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we have a treasure chest anywhere here? Or is that further up? Now I'm curious. I haven't seen... <laughs> I take that back. I think I know where the treasure chest is. I might need more than this. Or is this long enough? I think it's up there. Ah, ah. Link. No? Oh, this is a little wobbly to stand on. <laughs> Sorry for those of you who have vertigo. I actually triggered my own vertigo here for a moment. There's no treasure chest up there, so it must be in the next room, right? Because there's no treasure chests down here. I would have thought it would be up on that one, honestly. Yeah, that's the one where everyone keeps talking. I was actually looking forward to pirates. And all there is is the usual rabble of the goblins, the salvos, and moblins and shit. I was a little bit disappointed. They didn't even. You know what? The least. Nintendo! The least you could do was put pirate hats on them and have them talk like pirates. R. The occasional R would have been good, not bleh, like they normally say. <laughs> But yes. Now that one, the 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 the, the reconstruction of Lowland Village necessitates a lot of wood. <laughs> Just saying. So I thought that one might have been right up your alley. I locked out. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a funny stream. Yes, it, it, yes. You know what? A bokoblin with a peck like would have been like. Instead, it was just box standard enemies. I was, I, I felt a little let down. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build this bridge up to regulations, okay? Um, because if I don't, I'm gonna get in trouble with the. Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble with those. 
if it, if it's not up to uh, if it's not up to, uh, to code, then I'm not allowed to use it. Just saying. Bolton says so. <laughs> Say hi back to him. That's true. That's true. There's really nothing I can make. Well, I could have fused my weapons in a row and attached them to it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's not quite up to up to par. I, I mean, it's not quite up to code. That one should have been up against and it should have had a handrail. It is the shrine you thought about, okay. Oh, uh oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There the treasure chest is. Ah I was looking for it in the wrong places. Now now we're gonna wait we're, we're gonna we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> I've always wanted to do a jaw reference. A jaw reference. A jaws reference. Jesus. Let, let's do let's do a, a nice uh, a nice ship um, like um, hang on. We're, gonna, we're gonna build a proper boat just saying we'll be at this all day <laughs> welcome in travelers um please see our really really nice boat um don't tell me you guys didn't foresee this because if that <laughs> you obviously don't know me <laughs> seeing as I have done all the shrines in my first playthrough I can assure you we're gonna screw around with these I, I, I don't even know if it'll do a, a, a good boat but I mean, um, yeah. it, it might stick a bit weird in the in the water, it'll probably sink. Um, let's see, I could use some flat planks, but the game doesn't really do that, um, so... <laughs> Maybe put that one down and lift the big one. <laughs> People are now looking at it going, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> Funk? <laughs> this ship is not gonna float anywhere, but I am having fun. <laughs> But let's see if it, uh, I might actually have to redo that one. It's a bit off to the side. Um, gonna have to get a little bit closer to this. I can't actually see what I'm doing. Oh, it's rolling! It's rolling! It's rolling! It's rolling! Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're, we're going to try this. We're going <laughs> to. Go so badly. No way in hell is this gonna float, okay? Then we'll do a standard raft afterwards. But <laughs> where's the fun in that? Almost. 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 No, let's do a proper ship, okay? We're doing a pirate ship, okay? We're doing a pirate ship. We're doing we're doing a we're doing a private ship. We're right now doing the deck. <laughs> I can't really see what I'm doing because I'm too far from it. The reason why I'm dropping them like this is that I feel like if I attempt to glue them together at this point, they do weird stuff. They come up with an odd angle. Come on! Odd angle. I think we're gonna need both fans, just saying. As I don't have a control stick, I'll have to put these on the right way, or we will end up somewhere in outer space. 
this. Probably need more weight. Yes, yes. We'll see, we'll see. Ah, <laughs> uh, Link, let's point it in the right direction because we can't steer this thing. Hey, 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 I'm, I, I have dry feet. It's seaworthy. It's seaworthy. I would, uh, I would say that's, uh, I have a bit of a drift to one side, it seems. That's okay because it's along the wall and what I want it. See what? <laughs> Eight out of ten points. Thank you for the raid on an educated um, puzzle. Have a have a lovely rest, a lovely sleep. <laughs> I found a spiky shield, an aged, worn-out shield. Uh, it can withstand light attacks such as arrows. It's only a two. I'm not really interested, but thanks. That's a bit of a letdown. <laughs> Let, let me get my yes to see where we go. <laughs> I could quite possibly swim across this, but I don't know. Where's the fun in that? By the way, I talked to Evie about mentioning this on stream as they are, like I said, traveling at the moment. Um, Evie is very quiet everywhere at the moment. <laughs> Evie is a bit stressed. Well, it's also been like bike season, cycling season, which means that they normally just fall off the face of the earth. But they are currently uh, moving. They are moving uh, to this area to start a new education. And I think they start their education. This is somewhere mid August. I am happy for them as well. They've been in a bit of a rut, but they are now actually moving here to start a new IT related um, education. Right up the road from me, basically. Uh, they have gotten a flat uh, from the 15th of August, so there'll be one weekend somewhere later in August where I'm not streaming because I'll be uh, the designated driver. Um, and we're moving all this stuff from Copenhagen over here. Yeah, I think this is, well, they're taking over, <laughs> good luck, exactly. They're taking over the, um, the flat on the 15th. Um, so uh, there's a lot of getting shit to like, everything to to like play together <laughs> so it's like uh yeah there's um uh, a lot of stress involved in it as well um i mean denmark's not huge but they're still getting everything from one end of the country to the other yeah <laughs> susanna knows that feeling yeah you definitely do you definitely do <clears throat> I was supposed to go that way, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm very, very good at getting sidetracked here. Uh, but again, we're not trying to... I'm, I'm trying to get towards Hateno. Saw a stable, saw a shrine, and thought, fuck it, we're doing that. We came across Olden Bridge, I think. Why do I have a marker? Oh, yeah, that's right. The marker I put down last time for Hateno Village. I can't remember if that's where Hateno Village is, but I know it's in that direction. <laughs> Normally I go like, oh, I can find my way around Hyrule, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> but I know it's somewhere down there because that's Hateno Bay, so yeah. So it's it's towards the green one. There is a tower roughly in that direction. <laughs> There's two towers in roughly that direction. I can also see Kakariko Village from here. Do we want to talk to them in Kakariko Village on the way? Might actually not be a bad idea. Because it's easy enough getting from Kakariko and down over Kakariko Bridge. At... 
game you're auto saving. I don't like it when you do that. Please. Could we not? There's nothing here. Okay. That was Hylian Tomatoes, wasn't it? How many of you have managed to make the pizza? Huh? I'm just asking. Inquiring minds would like to know. I love the fact that you can make pizza in this game. <laughs> hey, we didn't have the picture. They actually also cooked, give you quite a few hearts. Freaked out. <laughs> I know, relatable. <laughs> because sometimes it just auto saves, and sometimes you go like, why are you auto saving? Why are you. Game? Game? Why are you auto saving? <laughs> right. Kakariko can't really be missed. I know that. Um, so I think we'll swing by Kakariko first. And then. It's easier for me to get to Hatino Village. I also realized that... How many of you went to Kakariko before doing stuff in Hatino Village? Because I went there and went... I want to buy the stealth set. Looked at the price and went... <laughs> I am not paying that much! Oh god, there's another... We're gonna have enough Koroks for an entire stream, you know that? But I think it would actually be more fun if we just do a, a, a Korok uh, transport uh, chapter on uh, on stream at some point. No, I'm just going to mark you off <laughs> and then I'm going to run off. There we go. Hi. There you go. Yeah, I know you need to find your friends. I'd like to find my friends too. Howell Bridge. Howell and Owlin are characters from Skyward Sword, aren't they? Aren't they two of the academy uh, teachers, I think? We'll just ponder off this way. But yeah, I think I, I played... Um, I think it was especially Breath of the Wild that taught me the whole... The game is autosaving. Why is the game autosaving? Game? Why are you autosaving? Sometimes it's just because you are running past somewhere where there's an enemy near, and sometimes there is nothing. And it's like, <laughs> I think the game is just trying to make sure you're awake, and you're like... <gasps> Why? I like that little bitty floaty island. I would have liked more of those. I like those. Like, they're very, very low. Hey, Addison! My man! I could use... You know what? I'll, 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 you give me money, yes? You give me money. Um, <laughs> I'm just basically like, give me money! <laughs> this game is so stingy! For God's sake, knock it off. Come on, here we go. <laughs> Addison, oh, knock you if I could. I can't. All he does is lose that bloody thing and then he complains. And then he tells you to stop bothering him. And you're like, what are you? Ah, Addison, give me your money. You have money. Let's see if I did that one right. I probably... Yeah, I did, I did, I did. I did, I did. Do I need two? I could... Yeah, I think two planks actually fit into this one better. Not, not that one, maybe. Like, like, like the front one. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. I think it becomes a little bit more stable if you do this. It does. Um, they, it won't fold to the sides, but it might fold backwards. Right? No, it might fold forwards. That might not be enough then. Good enough. It's a bit. It's a bit. <coughs> Link, what the hell did we just do there, huh, young man? <coughs> what say you, chat? Is it gonna hold? Are we gonna take bets? I built the exact same same thing every time that works all over them so far, so I don't have to think. That was enough thinking. 
I sure thank you for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson all over the map. I can't stand here forever. I got so many more signs to spread around. Yeah, you got way too many signs, man. I don't know what to do. Try letting let go. Yeah. That was fucking perfect. <laughs> How's the president standing? Oh, it's brilliant. I would have never thought of it. Thank you for the GGs. Oh. Just put this right here, get it fastened, and, 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 yeah. Ooh. Perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Yes. <laughs> Money. Sure, give me food. Meaty rice balls. Not mighty ah. rice balls, but meaty rice balls. But I don't think I've thank you enough. There's a little something from my premium collection. Special thank you. No more. I, I never use the sleepover. Because then I don't get points. <laughs> I can't even sell the tickets. That's actually the worst part. If I could just sell them. Oh, by the way, let's not leave this out where it's a hazard for other people to, you know, follow up. I saved don't forget. I actually think I went up on... Ah, don't fly on, little birdies! I just want to take a picture. Oh, hang on. I actually need to... Um, I actually need to put a marker because I will forget which part, which Addison ones I've done. And I've marked the other ones off. Let's keep it like a constant. I did that. I, I, I just did. Do you know what I forgot at the stable? I forgot the well. Bad Sim. Bad, bad Sim. I think one of these actually goes into the sky, does it? And they all do. All right. Did I forget something else? What did I forget? I forgot the faking will. As well. Ah. <laughs> I think. All we need is da 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 We just need the elevator music as well. Sorry. That's a bit delayed. Sorry to hear about the delay, um, Evie. Very much. Do I have to come in from... Oh, shit. Excuse me? How? How? how from the tabernacle? <laughs> and hello, Evie. You appreciate it. They love made of music. I always feel like I'm. I'm. I, I feel like Nintendo missed out on doing some elevator music when you go up on these things. Like Link's just standing there. Yes, we can get in here. Cool. Off again, yes. No, don't, don't get, don't, don't, please don't risk the driving sickness. It's, uh, it's bad enough as it is. But good seeing you're on your road. Safe travels. Whee! I, I actually do, I do admit I like, I like the trampoline ones. <laughs> I like, I like bouncing on shit in this game, okay? <clears throat> Twitch just decided you're not getting that one. <laughs> I've seen it occasionally go wrong. I don't know why. It sometimes just seems to not catch the, the, the emotes. A bouncy... Oh, I just said I like bouncing on these. A bouncy device. The Moroc Shrine. Well... 
Well, I'm bouncing on that. There's nothing above there. And there's nothing above here. Apart from there. Alright, cool. Well, 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 hello. Ice quote party. <laughs> Oh, you you know the quote butt's there for you. Oh, that's a bit of a fall. There's something like that, and I probably have... Um, so that's where... There's a couple of bouncy bouncies in there. Oh, I'll probably need that. Hmm? Oh, ooh, there's all sorts of stuff over here. Mm-hmm, that's, oh, that's where I get the orb. Oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting. Let's see if I remember this, this right. <laughs> like I said, not like there's a wrong or right way of doing it. I'm going to need a boost. Whee! Oh, pretty damn cool. Let's do that again. <laughs> Working on a list of early video games. Video games you want to play, or video games that just you need to have. You want to have. Um, needs to be. Hmm? This one has a bit of a dip in the middle. It might not actually mean anything. <laughs> what well, I was I was on a roll last weekend, not gonna lie. <laughs> Wasn't my fault, that was Pura's fault, okay? And if you need, you can buy clothes over there. Mm, sure, Pura. Nah, I just I, I like the breeze around my balls. That just went absolutely off. Whee! Did it go anywhere? I'm gonna go over there and figure it out. <laughs> I could probably just like paraglide over, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> okay, apparently I couldn't do that. Why not? Oh, I can. Whee! Oh, that. Let's not do that again, okay? Kidding. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Where did my ball go? Where did my orb go? My orb went, went, went off the... No! Oh, it actually ended up there. <laughs> How absolutely brilliant. Whee! Good, good. We're happy to have you. I am one of the f lucky few. I have like maybe one or two Saturday work days a, a year, so. <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching it. Come on! Go in, you bastard. You know you wanna. Thank you. Now what does it give me? Two more springs. All the springs. I, I kind of want at some point to, to 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 test how many springs you can put on top of each other and still make it work. Early arcade video games. The first generation NES Famicom games and Mario games. And attempt to stream them. Super. <laughs> I have a weakness for these old games as well. Not because I have really played them, but there's a there's a charm to that kind of kind of games. Did I not actually put that one particularly straight? Did I? Hmm. 
is a bit off kilter. Do we need three? No, probably not. Are we going to use three? Hell yeah. Why are you so wobbly? Stop being so goddamn wobbly. There we go. Um, no treasure chest, right? That's true, that's true. Actually, I have a question about this. I'm not seeing the treasure chest. Why am I not seeing... Was the treasure chest up where the... It wasn't up here, was it? No? No? No, it wasn't. Very strange. <laughs> oh, we will at some point be doing weird shit anyway, so why not? <laughs> how many straight how many springs can I put on top of each other and go bunkers? Wouldn't have been further in here, would it? Oh my god, game, stop trolling me. So it wasn't up there, it wasn't there. a ledge before you get all the way up. Hang on. I didn't actually check. Ah, it's on the ledge. I see. Looking for it in all the wrong places. Sneaky elixir. I normally just sell those. <laughs> well, until we can get the thingy. What's it called? Sneaky outfit. Sneaky outfit. I, I actually think they all unfold because the more you stack on top of each other, the higher you jump. Hang on. Because they all unfold, don't they? Hang on. Come on, Nick. Up. I'm pretty sure you get the... Wow. You get the... Like, it, it gets proportionally more powerful when you stack them. I don't know if that's the case. We could always, we could always experiment with it. <laughs> I foresee an entire stream of basically just stacking springs. There's a couple of places in-game where there's a lot of springs. We'll just do that as well. Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi is the name of my my of my cat, my cat. Hello, hi. That must be the equivalent of I like stacking springs in this game and just jumping on them. <laughs> Welcome on board. Yoshi is your cat. All right. <laughs> to have a cat named Yoshi. Hmm. Yeah. Not a Yoshi for a cat, but yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, I managed to bounce past the, the treasure chest like five times, so... <laughs> I don't. I do not. Unfortunately. No, unfortunately not. I would like to. I would like to. Hello, Leith. How are you doing today? <laughs> yeah, I was trying. I was trying to read your name. <laughs> I'd like to point out that although I did cook, I did cook. <laughs> I brewed coffee this morning, but I also need, in order for the caffeine to kick in, I need to drink it. <laughs> You're getting the sound of me pouring coffee right into the microphone. <laughs> Brewed 
coffee. I, I brewed brewed coffee. <laughs> First, I brewed a small pot to uh, make sure that Evie and I were capable of semi-communication this morning. Uh, and and I wouldn't dream of sending them on sending them on their way without making sure that they had caffeine in the system. And then I brewed another pot <laughs> so that I would have something on stream. Oh, I don't actually think I have a picture of those those bastards. <laughs> I kind of thought they would be harder to fight. Just saying. Trying to get a good picture. Don't like and 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 pre work out frequently. I just can't love the taste. Yeah, I'm one of the the lucky people who actually drink my coffee black as it is. Um, I am very very fond of my coffee, and the rest of the world should relish the fact that coffee exists. Because otherwise, I might kill someone, especially at work. Miss Ghost Treasure. Hello, lady. Hi. Hello there. I hope your travels are treating you well. Hello, Michi. So I take it if you struck up a conversation with a fashion-forward type like me all the way out here, you must also be searching for pieces of Miss Ghost Treasure. Treasure? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't know. Well, there was once a legendary bandit by the name of Misko, but theory isn't what made them a legend. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. It's said that Misko <laughs> collected rare outfits from all over the world and hid their pieces through Hyrule. <laughs> it may only be a story, but who could resist the call of garments like that? For fashion lovers like me, Misko's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we're out in force trying to find ah. it. So, fate and fashion must have brought the two of us together right here. Shall I tell you where pieces of Misko's treasure are said to be hidden? Well, if you're offering. <laughs> I could see the prosecutor slip me a couple of stacks for an admission to guilt like that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you forgot you left it open. <laughs> Could have been worse. I've left weirder taps open. Might pay me a good dollar for that evidence, yes. <laughs> now, do you have a map? Now I have a flag. <laughs> you weren't called, yeah. <laughs> I occasionally go, oh right, I had a stream on like three hours ago. Here's what I've heard. A piece of fairly wild outfit from Misko's treasure is set to fill the wearer with power is around here. A piece from a quite stylish outfit fit from Misko's collection is set to let you quickly climb cliffs might be here. <laughs> All this information comes from my other fashion-forward friends who travel in other regions. I am not sure if any of these looks will fit with my personal sense of style, but you never know. If you're attempting a difficult journey, I'm sure such styles could come in oh. handy. That reminds me, do you know about the Great Fairies? Great mm. Fairies. The fairies have long existed throughout Hyrule and have been known to bless clothing. But since it's so much ugliness came to our land... Are you talking about your dress, love, or are you talking about the, you know, the plume? I'm not quite sure. I've heard that they've withdrawn from view. Though I think one of them was seen near Woodland Stable in the north lately. What could that be all about? Ah. Sorry, I've gone on and on. It's been a while since I've been able to talk fashion with anyone. And you choose to talk fashion with this little gremlin? Lady, you got guts. Time for me to go back to searching for Misko's legendary outfits. Good luck and goodbye. Power and stylishness. What's not to like? <laughs> You're guilty of man's laughter. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to... I, I, I verbally commit manslaughter. Just saying. And, and lack of mushrooms. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, that was... We were up the way. <laughs> we will be doing towers as well eventually, so... I have a silence room. Is that a good picture? Yes, that's a good picture. Hard to have style without mushrooms. <laughs> I beg to differ. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't admit don't admit to being capable of murder on stream. <laughs> I only murder people verbally. <laughs> oh god, I love this. This 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 is such a callback to to um to Wind Waker that when I saw them do it, I was like, oh for God's sake, really? <laughs> the fact that they are literally carrying Bokoplins around is just fantastic. I don't think I'm close enough to get a picture of the noodle! Hello, Nadra, you gorgeous noodle. It is. Hey, hey. You can have fun with them, that's true. <laughs> you can definitely have fun with mushrooms. Mm -mm. One time I forgot my wallet when I went to get a haircut a few years ago and I told dude I'd be right back but never ended up going back. <laughs> well, if you didn't need it, what was in the wallet? Ooh, will you, will you look at that! Oh, I hate those cord puzzles. Because it takes... At least it's not set to start leaning anytime soon. Link, Link, can we, can we, can we climb, young man? Thank you. You normally can. Let's see. <laughs> You're gonna have fun without mushrooms. Oh, without mushrooms, that's true. <laughs> But why would you? <laughs> Shit, that looks like Addison, doesn't it? <laughs> Did I walk right past that? <laughs> why is this not working? It is. Where are you falling? <laughs> there you go. First try. I, I can't normally do these in first try. I always go wobbling past, back and forth. <sighs> That's good. You found me. Um, can I interest you in 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 the story of our Lord and Savior, the Mighty Broccoli? No, no. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Are you sure I can't interest? No, you can't. Wide awake vibing with my cat drinking tea lying down in front of the AC. That actually sounds really nice. Just saying. Imagine that you develop defensive mechanisms so whenever someone eats you, you can reprogram their brain as punishment. <laughs> yes. Without my support. Really? Really? You would mostly always only. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, chat. <laughs> See if we can't do this as simple as possible. It's not gonna fall backwards because it's heavier in the front. I like that the gate, the, the the image freezing. There's a whole group of keys in the background, just like like a cloud of keys. Can, can 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 I tell you we're not at the we're not at the the the, the our Lord and Savior the the mighty broccoli yet. <laughs> the broccoli definitely reprograms your brain. Just think of it as has to, okay? The, almost my buddy is a water bottle for like two minutes and he unknowingly drank it because he doesn't know how gay he is. <laughs> oh, why? That's unsanitary. <laughs> I can't stand here forever. I got so many signs. I know. Yeah. Addison, let go. See? Simple sometimes solves it. And sometimes I go out of my way to, like, use the entire stash of stuff. <laughs> oh, let's get him secure. Yes, instead of yappering on, do secure it. <laughs> Did you, just do, you, you redeemed a coffee grinder. You redeemed a coffee grinder. <laughs> it's mainly in there for people to use points on. <laughs> Much appreciated. And I will, for you, drink some more coffee. 
at least it's the good coffee. I only ever make the good coffee when, like, when, when I'm home and I'm streaming. <clears throat> now give me some money, Addison, because this game is stingy. Mm. With your help, President Futson, uh, Fut, Futson, Pres President Futson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. I think we should name every, every sign we should name, give a different name. Well, I could. Excuse me for a second. I'll build you a coffee one. <laughs> so well on his own. Take this with my thing. Yes, 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 yes. I'll build you the coffee shop. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. Sneaky right. Sneaky balls. <laughs> and a bomb flower. Even better. Yes. Go place some more signs so you can pay me some more money. What was I? Here we go. Does it have to, Do we need it to be on wheels? No, we don't. Excuse me for a second. Link, what do you get? Oh, there's a sign. I do apologize. I was trying to walk through a sign. <laughs> it's like, no! You can't! We won't allow you! Hang on a second. <laughs> My building regulations are not up to code, by the way. <laughs> Why is there always an NPC trying to interrupt my building process? Honestly, it's like it's like the game does it on purpose. That, that wasn't good. This guy doesn't want to do like proper. Fine. It's because it's slightly skewed. That wasn't right either. Here we go. <laughs> and the NPC is just what? Excuse me, lady, man. NPC thing. Excuse me. I am building. I am, I am attempting to build a coffee shop. Honestly, respect my need for caffeine. Please. It's all I'm asking for. That's maybe a bit better. And another one. Could you imagine if you could turn houses upside down while you were building them? How much easier it would make some of it? I mean... Oops. <laughs> the ground isn't particularly straight or something. Well, that one what actually? Well, that one is apparently glued together looking like that. Fair enough. <laughs> Someone asked for a coffee house? They don't serve coffee, they, they serve saps room. Because we don't, apparently don't have coffee beans in uh, in Hyrule, which I find a gross oversight, by the way. Uh, Link! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> we need a little roof on as well. well. I think we'll just use this one. Like mm -hmm. that, that one will actually be like the sign. Um... <laughs> No, <laughs> what the hell was that all about, Link? <laughs> oh, fine, I'll put it on the other side then. If you're gonna be like that, fine. See, see. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Chat, do not judge me. There we go. This is it. This is our new coffee bar. We just need the coffee. <laughs> With almost four walls. <laughs> see? See? Imagine if you could build new settlements. Exactly. That would be brilliant. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here is... Oh, God. I can't even get the pins right. Edit pin. There you go. That way I know I've, 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 I've talked to Addison here. You know what? You all know it's going to be demolished by the time we get back. Hello! Ah. Hey, Nimbus. There! You've been to Kakariko Village, the place everyone's talking about right now. Get there is as simple as traveling southeast on this road. Lots of folks have been heading that direction since the ring ruins started falling. You're bound to run into them if you go this way. Ah. The ring ruins are people. Safe. They're crowds. There will be customers. I am. I, I really am good at business, aren't I? Anyway, please take a look. Well, what have you got? Hmm. 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 Oh, you have fireproof lizards, do you? Interesting. Won't quite need those then. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. On wonderful ongoing side quest. <laughs> Building shops. <laughs> Kingdom Come Deliverance. Is that rebuilding stuff? Because um, I'm, I'm all for that kind of stuff. Let's get a bit of an angle on it. It's actually quite cute. A sticky frog. And at some point we're going to eat it. <laughs> this frog likes to cling to walls and hang out and hang out. It oozes a substance that climbers can use to cling to wet surfaces. <laughs> Is that going to keep me from taking them? No, of course it's not. Da -da 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 -da. Another one. <laughs> Did I? There was a core exceed on top of the entrance, yes. I was about to say that sounds it's a minimal grounded RPG set in the start of fifteenth century Czech Republic. Interesting. I'm sure there's something in here. I know you can burn your, the foliage, but I think it's more fun just walking in here. Piece of amber, I'll take that. In my first playthrough I've actually quite often used this little hollow as uh if it's been bad weather. I've stuffed Link in there just to like keeping out him out of the weather. <laughs> Anything? No? Alright. Oh, I'm definitely gonna look into that one. You don't shoot arrows at this one this time, do you? No. I don't think you do. What about the other side? I see the ghost of, of, Kor of Korok's past everywhere I go. And welcome to Kakariko Village! That's the arrow plate. We're definitely going to need arrows. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Probably. And there's a DLC which gives you the option of rebuilding one small village. I love it when games allow you to do that. Hello, lady! Oh, you're the moaning one from last time. Ah. With everyone making such a fuss about those ring ruins, I'm glad to see a young lad like you visiting my humble arrow shop. Shop. While they're rings, I'm going to shoot arrows through them. <laughs> you must mm. be a fine fine archer. And Laurelin Village had more archers like you, then maybe things wouldn't have happened like they did. Laurelin ah. Village? If you want to hear about my hometown, I can tell your ear off. I can talk your ear off. Luralin Village is a small fishing town on the southeastern coast. Maybe out of the way, but it has shops and such you'll find you'll find only there. Our village is a lovely place. Oh. <sighs> but then it was seized by pirates, and again, not even a moblin with a peg leg. Mo. Mo the pirate. Uh the <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the villagers are scattered all over now. The leader of the village is desperate to save Lurlin, but who knows what will happen. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to take us into such a dark Aww. direction. No helping it now. Then back to work. Mm. I wonder where he is. Oh, shit. Mm. Dang it. I meant, meant to actually... Uh. Seeing someone look at these arrows reminds me of my husband. There was a time he was a regular master archer. I wonder where he is now. That's the dude with the cuckoos. I don't know where he is. Oh. How many? Well, all of them. I only have 74 arrows! I need more! Thank you. I'm just gonna take these as well. Ah. Some people don't like it, like that game because it's got medieval combat in it too. If you're fighting against more than one person, you're likely gonna get fucked. <laughs> I would have got that would have happened if I was in medieval times trying to find a ho fight a horde as well. <laughs> oh my god! I only have 121 rupees. This game is stingy. Just saying. What else has she got? Ooh, oh, she's got. I think I missed that on my first playthrough. She's got Arakuda balls. Uh, Arakuda eyeballs. <laughs> Not Arakuda balls. <laughs> what would you need those for anyway? I don't know. Uh, before I get myself into more trouble, I need a quick trip to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, so what? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Don't judge me. Do not judge me. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Oh, it's not my fault. There's a ball fixation in this game, okay? We just threw a ball around in a shrine as well. It wasn't my idea. Not my fault. <laughs> I mean, you can't even read at the start of the game. Why would a son of a blacksmith need to know how to read? Duh. Exactly. It actually makes sense. Speaking of balls, <laughs> are we doing? <laughs> oh yes, I do believe we have um, we have Metroid Prime remastered <laughs> at the end of my stream. Hello, lady or old man, old lady. Hi. Hi. Hello, Trissa. Okay, I'm gonna just be rude and assume you're a woman. Hello, welcome. I'm sorry, the old fellas who stocked this place are busy driving off monsters. We've gone off to the ring ruin that's among the hills that least lead west of the village. So as you can see, we've almost run out of goods. Ah. Those two, they just can't get along. It's going to stand in the way of them taking care of the problem up there. 
I can't go and check up on them, and the longer they're away, the more worried I get. Codger's quarrel. <laughs> I know exactly who she's talking about. She's right. Dear me, apologies for going on and on about my old worries. So what can I help you with? Recommendations? I usually recommend the swift carriage that my mister grows. But here's the problem. He's gone off with the other old fella to drive off monsters that live off the wrong ring ruins. It's a ruin that's among the hills that lead west of the village. She wants to be absolutely sure you know where you're going. Watch me get lost. West of the village. I'll, I'll try to remember. So he's not here to tend his garden, and that's why we're pretty much out of stock. For fuck's sake, really? Yeah. <laughs> Stop by any time. <laughs> ah, Trissa. Keep him on a shorter leash. Hello, Cutler. Um, it's that I don't know you, and I shouldn't talk to strangers. But we're already talking, so maybe we aren't strangers anymore. <laughs> That's child logic. This is probably okay. Okay. I drew the ring ruins. Big sis of me, isn't it good? I also want to draw the stone slabs they found in the ruins, but they're covered in weird writing that's too hard to copy. You'll get there eventually, Cutler. Ah. <laughs> I like the kits in this. Ring garlands for sale. Yes. We don't need that just yet. Mm. Hey, Dorian. Good grief, it's late. Pious duty to take care of the village. But whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivially new problem. I'm... Uh... Oh. Who? Is that really you? <gasps> Think? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. Uh. And right now, too, while our chief is the chief, oh. I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Yeah, I know she's off gallivanting somewhere. Now Lady Pyre is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, uh -huh. but Lady Pyre is ignoring her responsibility. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. <sighs> uh. Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Sonai survey team. That ruin over there, by the way. <laughs> There. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Michael! To No Shop Village. <laughs> I don't know. I just uh, dared assume that. Yeah. I played Super Mario Land 2 for the first time ever recently, and on the world map, there's a part where you come across a giant toy Mario. You ascend up his body selecting levels along the way. Uh, there's a level at the crutch area of the giant toy Mario, and when you enter the level, it's full of balls. I bet some level designer at Nintendo was laughing their ass. <laughs> If they didn't. No, I, I refuse to believe it wasn't on purpose. <clears throat> thank you for stopping by, Danton Molitor. Thank you, thank you. Have a lovely day. Hi, good to see you as well, Michael. Trying to wake up. Been up way too long last night. <laughs> and thank you for making me build a coffee shop. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibilities as chief. Nah, it won't. She's got a new bow. Would you do me a favor and stop by to see Lady Pyre? Well, I was gonna, I was intending to do anyway, man. Hello. Ooh. Oh, hey there, kid. Did you come to see the ring ruins too? We might bump into each other when you're running around the village, seeing the sights. If you want to learn about the ring ruins here, be sure to ask the survey, serv so nice survey team people here or the village chief. Yep, I will. I'll be checking out the shops around here. If you see me again, say hello. I know, I know. Paya! Yeah. The ring ruins. <laughs> That's just fan service, honestly. <laughs> the ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched. Especially this one. The way part of it. The way part of it floats up there. Please, at some point, take your clothes off and talk to, to, to Tauro in your underwear. It's an amazing conversation. <laughs> you have the foresight to focus on all of these special runes and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh no, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good luck on telling Impa, no. I'm uh, really a chief in name only since I still have a great deal to... Ah. Oh, is that you, Master Link? <laughs> I'm 
so happy that I get for God's sake, Kimba. <laughs> Impa, no, Paya. <laughs> Did you manage to find a bag, by the way, Susanna? I know your luggage broke. <laughs> Shit. Shit always breaks. I'm so happy that I get to see you again. This is Kaya, chief of Kakarika Village. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, mostly. Well, it's just me. At the moment, it's just me. What? Princess Zelda is still missing. That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She orders all of us to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down any minute. That's what Pyre and I suspect, at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How huh? confusing. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot come and curtsy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Toro. You know, the nice beefy thing next to me. <laughs> and his team member of the survey. So, so, fuck. Pardon my French. Zonai survey team. That's like a, like testing a drunk. Fan service? What do you mean? The wrong, the wrong guy with a... The strong guy without a proper shirt or the artfully cute girl cliche. I was talking about Taro. Bought new to new, so I'm going to see if they are good. I assume they are. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Sonai survey team. I'm gonna attempt that. I'm gonna get that wrong so many times. I invited him here to investigate the ring runes that fell on our village. He's definitely a Luralan boy. Definitely. He has incredible deep knowledge of the Sonai civilization. He's even familiar with Sonai script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. <laughs> well, at least she's focusing on someone other than me. <clears throat> yeah, we're taking pictures of everyone. <laughs> oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we are forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. It's like, I want to go look at it. <laughs> Several more ring ruins with such a shape has fallen down around the village. Look, I consider Buliara fan service as well, so I'm equal opportunists. I'm an e I'm an uh, equal fuck equal opportunist. <laughs> Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mentions of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Aww. I think that perhaps the ring flo floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Mm. I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Ooh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story with Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she show herself? Mm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true, inten true intentions, we have no choice but to trust in her and leave the rune alone. The amount of times I tried to walk out that way out of and forgot about it and got told off was like stupid. <laughs> Paya's profile has been added. I take it we added well, let's see. Paya, the chief of Shika the Shika tribe. Uh, she takes the duties she inherited from her grandmother Impa seriously, and she draws strength in her own way from being a gentle soul at heart. She has considerable affection for Link, in part because of her grandmother's many tales about the hero who defeated the calamity. Toro, an explorer whose <laughs> that's a good picture, an explorer whose passion for field research is unrivaled. He lives to make big discoveries, and he spent a long time traveling solo investigating ruins. He is also an expert in reading Zonai writing. Princess Zelda found him to be the perfect choice for leading the Zonai survey team. Good. Now we're gonna do something slightly fun. If I can get that conversation. Oh. That whole story about Princess Zelda had me reeling, so I never introduced myself properly. Sorry about that. Once again, my name is Toro. I am here on Pyre's request to investigate the ruins that fell around this oh. village. Have you been to all four of the ring ruins that fell? Not yet. Most of them broke apart when they landed. We found a stone slab with some writing inside each uh. side. I deciphered the inscriptions and found out they had been write written by those, uh, the ancient newest sages. 
My guess is that the floating ring ruin was also a stone slab with each more detail about oh. each one with more detail about the sages. But Princess Zelda has put her foot down, so we're not gonna Toro. Oh. I can't get that conversation with him because he's still on the fucking ring ruins. Aye. Aye. <laughs> when you get further into the game, do, do go talk to him naked. It's very funny. Um, clothes shop. Doing sit-ups and stuff, yes. <laughs> yeah, but as long as they're focused on the ring runes, I don't think we can get any conversation out of them that's any different. This made me nearly scream. Look at the fucking price on the stealth outfit. Ow. I have measly 121 rupees. <laughs> How many people were grinding to buy this at the price it comes at? I mean... Honestly? Hello, Fohuvian! How are you, my friend? Oh, oh, um, welcome. Sorry, I must have drifted off. I'm just so tired lately. Look, I know I wouldn't have to talk about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. It, is there something about my face that says, please tell me your woes? Yeah, okay, maybe there is. I don't know. I'm running this shop while my little sister lastly is looking after her. We're sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. Aww. I'm sorry about this, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. I've had to hike up the price. Oh, this explains why the prices are so high on everything we have in stock. It's just for now, though. As soon as grandmother is healthy again, I can set our prices back to normal. Uh. I know I shouldn't bring my home situation into the shop with me. Nice to get it off my chest, but I probably shouldn't have dumped all that on a customer. <laughs> Okay, time to salvage my professionalism. Ah. Sorry about that. Allow me to welcome you to Enchanted. Ah. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go southeast to Hatino Village. Uh, but why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here? We serve both style and quality. <laughs> oh, that was a burn. Mm. You see, my grandmother's sick in bed with a strange illness. And my little sister, lastly, volunteered to take care of her. Mm. Lastly, was supposed to be studying fashion uh, out southeast in Hateno by now, but she loves her grandmother so much that she put her dreams on hold. Mm. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. Yeah, and she goes on about the prices. No, that's okay. Um, I have a question about my inventory. No, I don't. I need the uh, sandelion flowers. Sandelion? Sun, sun, so, yeah. I like the ring garlands as well, yeah. Who have this on their faces, yes. Chicken! <laughs> mm. Oh, it's a bit of a mess in here. Yeah, the dude is elsewhere. Um... By now, I would have picked up some Delian somewhere, but I haven't. That's bad, Sim. That's very bad. Well, that means later. Let's check out the ring runes. We might get some there. East Hill and Chief's Hall. Well, let's take East Hill first, then. Go check out the ring thingies. Sunny flowers, yes. Poor guy who lost his own. Yep, someone definitely did. Oh, fuck's sake, I can't even get close to that. Hey, you there! Come here! F uh, uh. Oh. Haven't you heard? Strict forbidden, yeah. Yada, 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 yada. Uh. I'll be directly opposing Princess Zelda's orders if I poke around there. Is this the end of my dream that someday Princess Zelda will call me Dr. Calip? It's okay, I'll call you Dr. Calip. Fuck's sake, stop stopping me when I'm going somewhere. Mm. So that was East Hill. What if I... Turn. I can't even get around that place. Wait. So the ring ruins are. I should be able to see them from here. One of them's definitely up there. Oh, there's also a there's also a shrine. There's a, another bit of ring ruin there. 
I can't get to that one. That's just bloody annoying. Is there any on the other side of this? Hmm. Pop up this way. Oh! <laughs> I just did I just walked Link off the ledge. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a bitch and I walk right off it. <clears throat> sorry. The guy... <laughs> For his cuckoos. Yeah, that, that was actually his house, yeah. Whoa. We're handsome with the ring runes. At last, I can't believe it. Uh. Uh, Letty, this chunk is just a small piece of one of the ring runes. Nothing much, really. Hey, you two. Mm. I mean, compared to the main sites like that ring rune over there, it's broken in two, but you can still see the full ring. Mm. We can't visit that one by order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. So isn't getting up close with this chunk here something at least? We can sweep up some of the fragments and sneak them away. We gotta study these runes somehow, huh? Eh? Don't mind me, I'm just, I'm definitely leaving everything just as I found it. Wait, you're not with the survey team. Uh... Uh, I thought we were gonna get yelled at again. Oh? We really want to become members of the Sur Sonai survey team. So we came here to study the runes. My god, I like her coat. Tatsuna's coat is very nice. Sorry. Um, did you know the ring runes have been found only in Kakariko Village and nowhere else? That's why the Sonai s survey team sent a special its specialists to examine them. We figured this was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. Mm. New project for some. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I, I, I do not have those skills. Mm. What is that? Uh, we figured this was a great opportunity, but Letty has been running all over the place to look at this and that, so we've gotten nowhere fast. Oh. Come on, I'm sorry already. After we're done here, want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring runes? Huge discoveries, they say. Uh. Yeah, let's look at all the five ring runes we can visit to see those. Yay. He wants to make the chicken. You know what? If I had, if I had those cuckoos, I would want to make them kiss as well. I think that is a perfectly valid dream. Just saying. So one of the ring runes is up to my left. Ooh, look at that! There's one of the gumball machines! Let's do that one. Oh, there's actually a map of the ring ruins. How very nice. And Link steps on it because he's a little gremlin. I might not need it, but... Why not? Southern Ring Ruin Research Journal. Like the other ring ruins, those that fell to the plateau south of the village also held a stone slab with Sonai inscriptions. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruins, the likes of which we have never seen. References in ancient texts revealed it to be a sun, a sundelion, a plant long thought extinct. Uh, we are a, a, a sunny flower. We are currently borrowing a local plum orchid for our cultivation efforts and hoping to study. So that studies proved useful. Our investigation of the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. That's okay, I know how to use that one. Whee! And it ends with Zelda sitting in front of the chickens and cheering them on like kiss, 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 kiss. Sounds like a fanfic. I approve. I wholeheartedly approve. <laughs> I like the gumball machines. <laughs> so does Link. <laughs> Stabilizer, a perfectly balanced sonai device that stands upright when activated. It was used to secure footholds in unstable places such as Sky Islands. Big wheel, a powered sonai device that wants to move. It's a big, mean wheel that excels at tearing through environments that might challenge smaller vehicles. It can handle shallow water. It can handle shallow lava as well. Balloon, a sonai device that rises when filled with hot air. So do I. The hotter the air, the quicker it rises. Hey, 
perhaps something fits into this plate? I, I, oh, this doesn't make any sense at all. How am I supposed to investigate these strange artifacts when I'm busy with some Delian research? Do you have one anywhere? Uh, did you hear me? Uh, uh, I was lying, so don't tell anyone I was saying, okay? Where was I? Ah, uh, yes, Sundelian. Mm. Sundelian is a new species of plant. The first one was found in the ruins that fell from the sky. I believe that means they grow on the sky islands. I'm still in the middle of my investigation, but early results indicate that they have some sort of relationship with the gloom. Mm. If I can prove that, I think they might help those suffering from gloom exposure or aid to research in the depths. In, in, in any case, it's rare to find them on the surface, so I'm using the village's plum garden to see if I can cultivate them. Yeah, but I think I tried to steal them in my first run through and I couldn't. <clears throat> it was pretty much so. <laughs> I approve. Honestly, I have my hands full with some alien research. When runes fell from the sky in the upheaval, these fell too. We've only discovered three so far. We're lucky to have one here. Aside from this one, this also confirmed the presence in Terrytown and one at Dick Duck Bridge. Akala to the northwest, northeast and the Gerudo region in the southwest of Hyrule. Mm, don't see a connection. I don't even know what they were used for. My report isn't going to go well at all. If you don't mind, I have research to do. If you're curious about something, ask around. Everyone on the survey team is knowledgeable about something. Okay. Did we get everything it might offer? Yes, we did. Cool. I hate leaving them with question marks. There's a ring rune here. Let me mark them off as I get them because I got turned around so many times when I did this on my first playthrough. Not that. Link map. Thank you. Use that one to mark that I've done it. The stone slab of the southern ring rune. Some translation notes. Who protect of Hyrule from the demon king together king. There were known as sages. What I take from this is that it's about the facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess on how to fill in the gaps, it would go something like this. There were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the demon king. You're probably right. Nice. I do like these ring runes. I find them very, very interesting. Oh, hi. Um, well, we can always just do that. <laughs> that was a dead end. We go on top of them. Yay! It's not over there. Ah, <laughs> it's a mushroom. And the sun shining on the ground. Hey. <laughs> Is that the big one I'm not allowed to go up into? Or no, it's not, is it? It's definitely, there's a ring there. Let's see what I'm doing here. It's definitely, yeah, there's a ring there as well. That's the one I'm not allowed to go up on. I'm allowed to go to that one. That one I have marked off. Does that count for like, hang on, one, two, three, four with the one I'm on, so I must be missing one. Hmm, we'll see about that. I'm going for the shrine as well. God, why does it have to rain? Can I sell my brother? He goes fairly cheap but demands maintenance. <laughs> Look, no offense to Senna, but no thank you. <laughs> I've heard far too much about your brother for that. Hello, DHD, how are you? I should have probably gone up that way. I know it's slippery, you don't have to tell me. Hmm. Can I go up through that one, I think? 
Can I not? Yeah, I can. Cool. <laughs> oh, mushrooms. Yay! Iron shroom! The cap of this mushroom is very hard. Uh, use it when cooking to prepare a dish that increases your defense. I've actually taken a picture of it. I just haven't, like, plucked it. Is that what you call it? Ooh. Yes! I just woke up. <laughs> right, let's do this one. Mac Makasua Shrine. There we go. see what's in here. What's in it? What's in it? <sighs> Boss Bacoblins. We haven't even been up against one of those. A puzzle. Puzzle or fight? An upright device. Of course, that will be the stabilizer one. It. Because I picked up stabilizers from the gumball machine. Nothing else in here? I do like this animation. Game, where is my treasure chest? Ah, it's over there. Of course it is. Oh, I do remember this one. I have my trouble with that one. Sure, if this is enough, but we'll see. Yes, lovely. What have I got? I got you. Oh, damn. Sorry about that. Let's see. There's one in there, and there's one there, and there's something ooh, in there as well. As well. So, I need... I definitely need this. Is that a stabilizer? That's a stabilizer, alright. And I need this. Which it won't give me. God damn it, come on. A treasure chest in there. So I need to get over this one as well. As well. I can use that one, but I need this one. That is too far. Do I need it all the way over, or is this just fine? Did it throw it over? Where the hell did the ball go? Did the ball just evaporate or... No, it's there. <laughs> it actually flew over my head. <laughs> yeah, even for free I'm not sure I'd like. <laughs> Oh, you have to go to work. Only for an hour or so. Well, we hope we hope we're crossing our fingers. We hope it will be as short as possible. If you have to go in for like an hour or two on a Saturday, yeah, I take it the rest of the week hasn't been exactly good. <laughs> Do I need the ball over at that end, or...? Is this 
it's high enough. Is it tall enough? It's, is it high enough? Yeah, it's tall enough. Um, that might actually work better. Link? Apparently I can't do that, so I do have to... Yeah, I still have my arrow in here. Let's not let's not waste any arrows. Okay. Oopsies. <laughs> nice one, Link. <laughs> I it took a while for me to learn how to use ascent. We, we solved it very differently, we did? This powerful recovery elixir harnesses the power of fairies. It has a sweet fragrance. Really? <laughs> it has been so bad that my boss, whom I never see, spent the entire day at the plant I'm in. Oh no, oh no, that's never a good sign, is it? That's never a good sign. Well, there are things I miss from Breath of the Wild, um, not gonna lie, but I am actually enjoying this, even though it's like, there's, there's in, in many cases, so too much to do, <laughs> but I do enjoy it, uh, very much, actually. Oh, I forgot it. Come on, lie down, you bastard. It definitely challenges my, my puzzle skills in a very different way. Uh, that's not gonna work. If I do this... Can I launch myself across, maybe? Excuse me while I go kill Link, okay? Uh, of course I'm not gonna kill Link. Now, now I can't really. I wonder, will it do that even if I just hit the. It will indeed! Woohoo! Well, what do you know? <laughs> it worked! I'll be damned. <laughs> because I can't. I, I, I used, the, um, I used the, the stabilizers way too little. They are actually quite efficient. <laughs> Thank you for the GGs. Um. I do like this. I, I do enjoy this very much. Don't get me wrong. It's um, it's a good game. Uh, but I don't think I would have enjoyed it uh, quite as much. Um, I don't think I would enjoy it quite as much if I hadn't known Breath of the Wild as well as I do. So I, I don't quite understand people who start with Tears of the Kingdom and I'm like, but you're losing out. You're losing out and looking at an NPC and going, I remember you, you were an asshole in the last game. <laughs> or, oh my god, you've come a long way. You're still an asshole. I love the fact that there are, like, there, there's character development in the NPCs. In some of them, at least. <laughs> I don't actually remember. How many do we have by now? <clears throat> orbs. How many orbs do we have? Three, probably. So I can't swap them in just yet. Ooh, rumor has it. That's always good. That is the bloopies. I failed to actually look. We have four. Oh, nice. Let's go over to that ring ruin over here.
Yeah, I mean... Breath of the Wild was my first... Uh, oh, I do have a marker there. Breath of the Wild was my first uh, Zelda game as well. Uh, but I have since played a lot of the classics. <laughs> he appears in the Legend of Zelda game, John Zelda. He also makes an appearance in the franchise John Zelda and Timon, which I often wrongfully referred to as Jack and Daxter. <laughs> well, obviously. Oops, Link. Do we have anything, young man? We do indeed. Fallen Star! It's about one of the few things you can sell for good money. <laughs> John Zelda and Timon. <laughs> I like that as a new name for that. <laughs> that na 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 na! <laughs> oh, that one, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, there you are, you two old coots. Offense is best. Fortify your defenses. Guys, I don't care how many times you say it. The best defense is a good offense. is still nonsense from back to front. This is Olkin. Uh, no, look at us. It's late at night and we're still arguing. We haven't gotten any closer to getting rid of those monsters. No, that's because you're arguing, Steen. 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 Steen is actually closer to a Danish name. But yeah, uh, we won't. We want as long as you keep turning it upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. Mm. You stubborn old codger. Eh. Eh. Look who's talking. All right. They are arguing over the right way to deal with the problem, and so they are getting nowhere with the cleaning up, uh, cleaning of the monsters, and cleaning out of the monsters. <laughs> <sighs> good grief! Those two really don't get along. Do you know what I mean? Those two? Yeah, those oh. two. I mean, those two squabblers over there. I want to investigate the ring ruin nestled in these hills, but some monster visits have a moment. Monsters have set up. Monsters! I set up camp. I heard these two are competing to be the town's top fighter, so I asked them to clear up the monster. You should have maybe just asked one of them. But this is all they do. Uh... There's a stone slab in the nest that ring ruins described with Sonai writing. What if the monsters destroy that priceless artifact? Why did I ask those two for help? That's a very good question, man. Why did you? Yeah, now I have that. No, 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 no. <laughs> stuck in my head as well. Yay! Nothing quite beats it. Nothing quite beats it. I'm gonna come, come take your, your arrow. Better drop some bloody arrows, you bastard. Come on, come on, come on. A blooper cobbling horn, a two pronged horn with a sharp edges and tips. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power or brew it into an elixir. Cobbling fang, and yes, five arrows. Thank you. Okay, I don't have room for that. See you in a bit, Susanna? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yes, if, if I have to have this stuck on my brain, so do you. Damn. Can I not land a good shot on you? Stop throwing rocks at me, you bastard! There you go. He, he, he. Knock it off, you nutcase! Look up into my arrow. Thank you. Come on. Oh, that was what I needed. 
More arrows. Thank you. Ooh. More arrows. <laughs> There's a treasure chest and I go for the arrows first. Look, if you've played this game, you understand it. <laughs> I love how they scream as they die. <laughs> that just sounds wrong for Hubian. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness hey, give me a second uh, uh. really <laughs> has to understand it exactly exactly Oh, I should have put a date on that one. <laughs> I think I can. Hang on. Yes, I thought as much. I thought as much. Hang on a second. I wanted that in the quotes. I'm sorry. I'm going to pause for a second. <laughs> Edit quote 338. With the added edition July it's the 29th already holy shit 2023 did that work yes modified giant bright bloom seeds I do like those a seed that's found underground when struck it will take take root and bloom radiating a large amount of light from a big flower they're very very nice I like them another arrow I have 86 now good I need more. The stone slab of the nestled ring ruins, some translation notes. Those who most elite among the granted qualifications are chosen as sages. Those worthy secret stones and henceforth sages. Clearly the sages are the subject of the slab. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Filling in the blanks, I think it basically saying talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. How did you get to that one? All right, fair enough. Hey, you're the scientist. Ooh, what do we have here? Can I do this without killing myself? Is a very very fine question. Ooh, another treasure chest. Nice. See a bombable wall must be a must bomb. Strong sonite so Ooh, I do like those. It resonates with attached sonite devices and increases some of its attack power. Yes. Let me have it. Woohoo! Find some sonite stuff to attach it to later. Like I said, I do like these. I like the Sonai weapons better than I like the um, better than I like the um, the old Guardian stuff. Welcome back, guys. While you were busy squabbling like a couple of you know cuckoos, I fixed your freaking problem. What? You defeated all the monsters. Just who are you? Ooh. That that was some kind of fighting he did there, Olkin. It sure was a firm grasp of defense and a strong hand with offense. Mm. Have I had it wrong all these years? It's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. Ah. No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt or worse. Ah. Well, the important thing is that we've realized the truth before it's too late. We need a balance between the two. Took you long enough. And this fine fighter here showed us the way. Oh. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Olkin knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. I doubt this much of a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us, but glad if we can help. Mm. We can help if we... Glad if we can help. Yeah. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I'd suggest that we head back to our village. Ah. Right, I bet Triss's store... My Triss's store is running low on goods right now. People there must be in deep need. At least he realizes this. I'm glad it's safe now. Yep. 
Ah. Now that you've chased off the monsters, I can go back to investigating the stone slab in the ring ruins. Well, I'm done here. Must have been important. It's a shame we don't yet know what they meant by sage and secret stone. Yeah, we'll get to that. Hang on a second. Gotta set a marker so I know I've done this ring ruin. I could use the map. Is there anything else upstairs? Is a good question. I have that treasure chest already, right? That was the one I liberated. Right? Right? Must have been. Yeah, that's the one I took. Ooh, it's laying on the floor. That was me dropping a sword. God's sake. You'd think I had more control over this. No, not at all. Ooh, I do like having these along as well. Hang on. <laughs> they are good. Here we go. You never know when you might need them. Oh, look at that. Now there's a majestic noodle. Hello, Nadra. Ooh, fire fruit. Ooh, tower. <laughs> Let's just take this with us as well. Why is it not giving you a noodle? Oh, it's because it's double O D L E, and O O D L E. You're spelling it. You're, you're spelling it. You're spelling it it wrong. You have two D's instead of two O's. A majestic dragon has just appeared. Stay cool, stay calm. Who knows, if we play this right, we might get to ride it. I might just. I could use... Uh... I could use a ride. <sighs> oh, Nadra, you majestic noodle. Gorgeous Majestic Noodle. Is there any- Ooh hee! Hello! I think I know what this is. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. Can you help me down from here? <laughs> I know. I, I don't consider it a waste of time. I actually enjoy it. So I've been down there, right? If I look at the red marker, I look at the red marker. That one's done. Good. Oops. Um. Hi, Nadra. Yeah, it would kill me trying it. And there's that one, that's the yellow one. I'm trying to figure out where... There's supposed to be five rings, right? Then there is... That's one of them. I had that one. That's the one I just did. Or was that that one? That one I have also done. All right. So I need to read the one I'm currently on and then see. Ooh. I do want that tower because I am getting really, really, really turned around around here. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go do the tower. I know which tower it is and I'm going to dislike this so much. But I could do with the map. Um, I think something doing streaming after me. So uh, if you come in later... Um, some of us will definitely still be on. I think I know which one this is. Yeah, it is. Exactly the one I thought it was. I don't like this one. I don't. Oh shit! <laughs> I wasn't watching my. I wasn't watching my stamina meter. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry, Link. I won't do that again. Sahas for Slope Skyview Tower. <clears throat> it is happening. That's good. I wasn't sure if you'd fallen asleep. That's more. <laughs> I could have. Yeah. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? Hello, uh, Belson. My apologies. It looks like we have a small problem over here. Oh. What's going on? Heard that the terminal at Skyview Tower needed repair, so I came to fix it. But mm. the door won't open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge, no matter how hard I push or pull. Of course, I know it's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. <laughs> I worked up an appetite getting my brain into gear for this. Bet the nearby caves would have some tasty mushrooms. <laughs> it's such a red herring. Oh. Yeah, the caves at the bottom of the hill. I used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time while we were building the tower. Yeah, I also know there's other shit in there, so... That's gonna be fun. Hip. Oh, look at that. That's a battle talus. Take a picture now that we're at it. Take a picture. I like that the whole screen is just shaking because the talus is walking behind me. Splash fruit, a fruit that contains pressurized water. Cooking it brings out the ability to enhance swim speed when ingested. It's also good to throw at things, but yeah, fair enough. Bright cap. I think I have that one already. No, I don't. Nice. Sahasra Slope Cave. Or are you just close by? Because I know there's other, uh, also other stuff in here. And I got so spooked the first time I came in here. Oh, I, yeah, I have. I've, if I'm bored, I'll just put Link on one. Yeah, it took me ages to do this. Me too. Now, do I remember this right? Holy shit! Bullseye! <laughs> nice! A long stick. I can also take a picture of a long stick because I don't think I have a picture of a long stick. Let's take a picture of a long stick. We did not! Yay! Link, don't take pictures of everything. You're worse than I am. Seriously. I wonder if someone did this on purpose. Hey, Bilson! Ah! Ah! The door opened! Could it be? Did you fix it for me? Well, I kind of did. Uh -huh. Ah, I can't believe a couple of sticks caused all this hassle. I wonder if those were in there to begin with or just fell over somehow if some monster did that on purpose. The question is, how the heck did the monster get back out? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I I kept. I don't think I'm spoiling anyone. Have you you guys have all seen Horriblins? Horriblins are horrifying. They're especially the sounds they make creep me out, and and they kind of remind me <laughs> of clowns, and I don't like that either. Or baboons, which doesn't help. Um. And I I. I Mate the hole through in the wrong side, which is why I had a fairly good idea that I needed to stick right to get into this. There's also a um, bubble frog down there. Yes, exactly. Yes, but why would they? Clowns and baboons, yeah. <laughs> red noses and red asses, exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> so did I. I kept going like, he needs food. <laughs> Either way, that really helped. Thank you. Well, that means we should get the map of Kakariko, I think. The mechanisms aren't working quite right. I'll just give them a bit of oil. Thank you very much, Bilson. Uh, Ta-da! Well, it wasn't a big problem, so a little oil cleared it right up. Right, I'm going to hurry on ahead, so this is goodbye. Thank you, my friend. I can't... Oh, I can't activate it. Hello, I need to activate this. See you, Bill. We'll see Bill's in a couple of more times. I like that, that it's some of the same uh, NPCs you run into. I do do like the activation of the... <laughs> He's a lot more cool about it now, isn't he? <laughs> towers for this. Oh, up into the bright light. This guy. Yes, we got Kakariko Village. Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Ooh, even better. Thank you for the GGs. Too bad you end up using them way too little once you get through battery. Yeah, you know what? I actually didn't do the the hover bike that much. I actually I actually enjoyed just whenever I was near a uh, a tower. I would go, yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> Just bouncing up and down in them. Let's see what's up here. If I have enough stamina for it. Well, I can always land on one of these. We're currently doing the ring ruins, but seeing as we're up here, we might as well. What do we have here? A cloud seagull. Interesting. That nearly fell down. I do like the aesthetics of this. Oh, hello! Joshua Shrine. It's one of the ones where you need the gem. <laughs> I, I used the hover bike quite a bit in the depths, but on the surface like this, I prefer just using the sky islands and um, and the um, Plato. I know the stone is over there. I'm just having a look around. <laughs> ah, there's the sundelion. That's the that's actually what I need. Let's remember to take a nice little picture of it. 
let's get some sky behind it as well. Nice picture, I think. Send the alien. A wild plant that grows in the sun uh, at high altitudes. Soaked in sunlight, its petals can restore health depleted by gloom when used in cooking. We do need that for a side quest in Kakariko Village, so that's good. I was hoping I might find some up here. below us. Mm -hmm. Did I get this as a travel point now? Yeah, I did. We're just going to jump down for a moment. We can always use travel point to get back up. Oh, there's actually a balloon down here as well. Oh, wow, well, wow. Well. Anything else of interest down here? Probably not. Oh, wow. It's like overkill much. Do I have pictures of that fruit? No, I do not. That's Sim. Well, I might not have had the camera the first time I came across some more Sundelians. Yes! All the Sundelians. Please. <laughs> You're lurking here in the US. <laughs> Sorry, I'm adoring you. <laughs> That's good. And it's good. I, I, I think Michael's waking up as well. <laughs> Which is good. I think I got one picture of these. Come on, you can zoom in on this. Stand up. I did not which is actually really, really good to cook stamina food with. So much, not much else, so we'll just use this one to get back up. So I had that one and I need to get to that one. Alright. Oh, I also have this one. Can I? Can I? Can I? Am I close enough? I think I've lost a couple of these by not doing it right. No, I can't. How? Oh, my nose is itchy. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Swing it over to the other side. Maybe I can. Oh, that's lovely, Michael. Thank you. Stream is better than any morning coffee. Yes, and I don't. I, I don't even think you'd gotten here by the point where I was making ball jokes as well. <laughs> I was making ball jokes last time as well. <laughs> don't ask. Just yeah, no. I still can't reach it, can I? Let's see if I can. Nope, I'm a little bit too... I don't know. I cannot actually remember how the heck I did this up here. Actually, if I walk down... Just turn it slightly from here. Wait a second. I can turn it the other way. Don't be an idiot, Sim. Come on. Can 
Can I walk on this without sliding down? I do think I can. Can I just say how much I enjoy Link's running animation when he's running down a hill? Don't fall, Link. Can I not actually... It's not act Am I not close enough? I'm gonna... Well, if I turn it half a turn again, of course it is. Mm hmm. Really? How how am I not reaching it from this this distance? Just inquiring minds would like to know. <laughs> Fine, I'll turn it all the way around so it's flat on the ground. Because this treasure chest really has it in for me. Uh, that was the wrong way, I think. Yeah, let, let me do that. Come on. A bit more. Thank. No. <laughs> Could have just done that from the beginning, honestly. I have to go. Yeah, I have to do that. <laughs> we have an old map. That's not too far from where we've been. The location shown in the old map has been marked off on your map. I've he uh, yeah, I've, I've, I haven't as much seen it as much as I've heard it. <laughs> right, I need to be able to turn it as far as I remember. Let's see. That treasure chest is just gonna, yeah. I kind of need to bring that over here, yes. Can I do this without killing Link? Maybe. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. At least it doesn't rain up here. Yes, I know. <laughs> I am very well aware that at some point I'll notice and I'll go, yeah. So if I bring the stone over here, and then go back and turn the bridge, I can go over and actually just walk over with it, I think. Nice. I think you can also punt, punt it over, but let's just do the safer point. Dude, more than Delians. Yay! <laughs> Why not? Just see. Why not? I mean, when you consider the atrocity that is, if you look in, the, um, if you look in, uh, in um, what's it called? Uh, making of a making of a champion, I think it is. Yes, making of a champion. I kind of need to get back in a way that means I won't fall down. Um, Making of a champion, there's a picture of Link naked, but like a Ken doll, and I'm, I'm fairly sure that part gave me nightmares. Like, after I looked in that book and went, why does he look like that? Why, Nintendo? Why? So I'm actually, I'm, I actually feel better about the fact that this time apparently he does have particular bits. <laughs> I don't want to 
think of Link as a Ken doll, okay? That's just weird. At least I find it weird. up and give it back to the shrine. Pew. Well, the fact he just pops it on his shoulder and walks back with it. How goes the packing, Susanna? Yep. Good. <laughs> what would be the gremlin way for the treasure chest? I'm not sure. Well, you can chop it, chop it off where it's hanging, and then just skydive down, like just jump off. I've done that when I've lost a treasure chest up high. I just normally just dive and follow where it lands. Currently on pause. <laughs> I don't blame you. What I'm going to do when something doing starts streaming is I am going to bring the laptop into the kitchen and I'm going to enjoy the hell out of that stream while I'm doing my dishes because, oh God, we left a few dishes from yesterday <laughs> and get some lunch and stuff. So uh, <laughs> there's, there's a few dishes to do. The North Nekluda Sky Crystal has been completed. Really? Now let me leave without doing anything. Here we go. <clears throat> oh right, do I had a I had a ooh a blessing shrine. I had a tension headache earlier, so I did pop a couple of pills before I started streaming. Rar and we're back to the hole. It's probably down to my eyesight, but Raru's blessing. Uh, you and me both, Doug Lado. You and me both. Do you think if we make a di if we cause a, di a, di a diversion, we can get in? All the humanity appropriate for exploding blimps and a pile of dishes. Well, we did leave quite a pile of dishes. Or <laughs> some damn fine burgers and fries yesterday. Just saying. Can I just say that I love the blessing shrines in this? They are very, very, very much gorgeous. Have you guys found that one blessing shrine that isn't a blessing shrine? That has a little puzzle in it, and I was like, why aren't they all like this? This is fucking amazing. Uh, uh. Please give me more of that. Visits it to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. <sighs> yeah. They better let pets and procrastinators in or heaven will be too lonely. You know what? Why wouldn't they let procrastinators in? Procrastination isn't necessarily a bad thing. They even improved on it. Yep. Pop. Yay! Got my heart healed. <laughs> well, I wasn't even intending to do any Sky Island things, but... I was like, looks interesting. There's also there's also a there's a gumball machine. <laughs> I'm like, it it it's it's it, it just lies in my in in my whole way my my body basically reacts to it is there's a there's a 
there's another sky island. There's another sky. Let's go there. There's a gumball machine. Gotta go there. Uh, that would be over that way. Yep. Check the tree knot. <laughs> see, see, exactly. Sonine charge. Well, let's have a look what the game has. Wow, <laughs> I think I think Link lost his nose. Are you okay, mate? <laughs> of a golden apple. Probably not. Yeah, I know I know that feeling exactly. I am currently trying to keep myself under control writing wise. Not writing on too many projects at the same time. God, the, the morning sky up here is amazing. Just saying, I mean, look at this. Look at this. That's just, yeah. <laughs> Let's pick up another solar charge. <laughs> Ooh, that's, a, that's an Endura shroom. It is indeed. Nom nom. A rare yellowish orange mushroom. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your stamina limit. Yes, I know. I like them. A rare special, a rare very sweet fruit that seems to have an extra sparkle to it. Sometimes found near normal apples, and sometimes on a fucking ever mean. Pardon my French. Yeah, I like that. Nine times out of ten, you can actually jump and get those. There's a hardy radish. Bum -bum. My parents asked my siblings if they they and their families would like to join us for dinner tomorrow to say goodbye, and one said no. Would that be your brother, maybe? Just ask him. A rare radish that grows best in sunny plains. Cook it before eating to restore all your hearts and temporarily increase your maximum hearts. There's probably, if I remember the constellation of these islands right, I think there's a cork seed over here. The question is, do I want to do it? Because I kind of probably want to get back up here. Which one's this? Oh, it's one of the ones catching flight. Um, let's just mark this for now. With a cork seat because I don't want to get down from here just yet. My sister replied she wouldn't miss it for anything and cancelled another plan for tomorrow. See! See, your sister gets it! God, your brother's an asshole. Sorry. Hope your parents didn't hear me say that. Ooh. Ooh, there's also cheap. Mm. Damn it. Can I take pictures of these? No, you can only pick them up. It's fine. I'll just pick them up. There's eggs up here though. Can you take pictures of eggs? Not that thing. The camera thing. Nope, you can't. But we can take the eggs. Oh, that's lovely. 
That is lovely. The fact that she'll still go, I invite you even though I know you can't come, but you need to know that, you know, if you could, you're definitely invited. You know what? I like your sister more and more. Oh, hello, nurse. How the hell am I going to get you up, though? I might have to jump down after that one. Not like that. Link, link. Not camera. Not, not camera mode. Stop it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm aiming at this so hard right now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I can't reach that one from here. I'm not sure if I can reach it from down here either. Probably not. No, but what I could do if I can if I'm smart about it is let's see if we can. up here anyway. I don't think I can find the treasure chest. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, it will probably respawn though, I realize, because I didn't open it. So it should probably respawn. <laughs> We're going back up. <laughs> I wanted to see if I can catch it. La probably landed in some poor sort's backyard. Probably knocked someone's head out. Oopsies. Wasn't me. Didn't see anything. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. <clears throat> Let's go back up here. <laughs> you have a very nice sister, Susanna. You have a very nice sister. Who seems to understand that it's not a matter of whether you can or can't, but it's a matter of, you know, of course, if you could, you are invited, even though I know you can't. I just want to do this before I hand, I hand, I hand the reins over to, <laughs> to something doing. At some point, I will remember that there is a... Oh, it respawned! Look at that! Nice. Whee! Ooh, also this. Big hearty radish. Nice. Actually, hang on. That one probably came in at the end, right? Nope, oh, it's there. I want to take a picture of that one as well. I got of the radish, the ordinary one. Let's take this one as well. Right, let's see, because I went about this the whole wrong way.
No, no! Fuck's sake! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I screwed that one up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Third time's the charm. <laughs> mm -mm. I am having. There'll be something stupid like Amber in this one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure it respawns when I fast travel, so let's see. Uh, mm. Look, I even forgot about the goddamn gumball machine. First gumball machine, then 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 treasure chest. I, I am having that treasure chest before we end today's stream. <laughs> <sighs> Plants so you can't be our asshole. <sighs> You're stuck on a Sora's domain one. Alright. Cannon! Sonai device that fires shots and in intervals that shh. The shot explodes when hitting the target. It's a powerful device, but it can be tricky to get the firing angle just right. Time bomb, a sonar device for a timed explosion. Its blast can activate other sonai devices. Spring, a sonar device that contracts and then expands with enough power to bounce objects away from it. Did we get everything from it? Yes, we did. Alright. Now for that feckin' treasure chest. Oh, I can... Uh... Yeah, I can see. I can see how that would be, like... You'd actually have to ask someone else to give you a ride, then it's like absolutely impossible. I can see what you mean. Absolutely. Yes. Utterly impossible. get this one now <laughs> this is where we're ending the stream and I'm starting the stream next time with me screaming at the game going give me that goddamn treasure chest I need this treasure chest I want the treasure chest and I goddamn nearly had it like a moment ago so let's see if we can make a repeat of that one Stay where you are. <laughs> that almost went wrong again. <laughs> There's a treasure chest. I must have it. <laughs> you understand my completionist attitude. At the exact time. Yep. A very old map that shows a spot. It does it now. Close to the other one. Well, well, well. We might be going into the depths next time. Oh, I will have forgotten about this, but I got the feckin' treasure chest, okay? Go me. Go us, team. We're that good. Ba -ba -da -ba -da 
Bum, 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 bum. same but if you can that means it is just chill playthrough so I think we got everything as such apart from the well there's also of course that one which is like look let's just we were in the middle of Kakariko village let's go down to Kakariko village let's maybe take see if we can do the Korog on the way down I might be able to do it. I fail at them sometimes, but I do occasionally manage them on the first try. Bingo! <laughs> yeah, you found me! Tickles in the stomach when we go down like this, doesn't it? <laughs> right up until it goes flat. I don't like you. We'll leave Link up on the ring room because that affords us quite the overview. And we'll do some Ah <gasps> shit, I'm sorry, Link. I am so sorry, my good man. <gasps> Didn't mean to drop you like that. <laughs> and then we'll do some cockery. We we actually what is it? It's twenty five past. Something doing. Uh, are you set up or do I need to like yabber on for like 10 minutes? <laughs> we'll do some shout outs while we're waiting. Uh, we have we have like Susanna in the community who does normally stream as well, but she is, well, I'll just not do shout outs, I think. Not today. We'll do that next time. <laughs> Unless we do everyone's shout out. In chat, the people who are in chat. Um, Susanna does normally stream, but she is in the process of moving to Greenland. So God knows. I think you're streaming tomorrow, aren't you? We like the shout outs. All right. Um, you're streaming tomorrow, aren't you, as a farewell present? Um, because that's like the last bit you get to do. The last bit she gets to do for now. Because um, it'll be a little bit like internet connection where you're actually going to be at how much time are you going to have how much energy are you going to have you're going to do some age of calamity tomorrow yep uh we're about to raid over to something doing um i haven't actually checked i don't think he's online yet no it doesn't look it um for some roly-poly uh speaking of balls um <laughs> Metroid Prime remastered. You're welcome. Um, look, every day is a ball stream. Uh, <laughs> um, who else is in chat? Uh, Michael, I know you stream sometimes. Because I, because 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 my phone sometimes tells me. Or it goes, yay, Michael streamed. And I'm like, yay, five hours ago. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. <laughs> it was good seeing you guys. It definitely, definitely was. Speaking of balls. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> You you roll Samus up in a in a in a ball and roll roll her around or she rolls around so, and I'm quite looking forward to the near end boss battle. You you, you went like yeah shit we're not doing that today. <laughs> Last Friday that was so much fun like no, <laughs> not today Satan. Um, we might as well. Um, not sure if he is actually going to stream at any point. Uh, We'll do Berkman as well. Does Fohuvian actually stream, or is that just me? We have who actually looked in for a short one, Yaki Galana. Uh, but she is off on a what do we call that? Uh, <laughs> she's on a camping trip with the grandparents, I think. Sounds nice, though. Sounds really nice. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, you like <laughs> Like that and like that. Yeah, she's camping. She's camping. She's camping. <clears throat> it does sound nice. It sounds very nice. I'll be back again tomorrow with uh, some Xenoblade Chronicles. Church of Himboism. Uh, probably after Susanna. I don't know if Susanna stops before I go on. Uh, I'm on at uh, 2 p.m. CEST. And I think she's having either lunch or dinner with some of the family tomorrow. The, the part of the family that can be arsed, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to be stin... I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like that on your behalf. Just saying. Because I can. It's not my brother. <laughs> Ten to two. All right. All right. All right. So that is... All good and well. <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be an ass about your brother because you wouldn't do it and I'm not related. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounds like it's it's gonna you're gonna be streaming right after I've been out shopping, so that actually sounds really good. Oh my god. I think I've got something stuck in my shoulder blades again. That isn't supposed to be stuck there. And Discord, just let me know. Uh, uh. I'll be back with some Monkey Island on Thursday, 6.30 p.m. CST. And some um, more Tears of the Kingdom next Saturday. Probably 9.30 uh AM CEST because uh, I don't think I have guests next weekend. <laughs> You're complaining to your parents as well. Told my dad. Hang on a second. I think that's how it goes. Uh, and told my dad he is picking my brother up at the moment. Not to tell him to show because I don't want him to want him to be there if he can't be ours. Exactly. We we'll want him. We want him to actually. What do you mean? That's invalid, you bastard! Stop doing that. <laughs> um, is it because it's without the ad? Isn't it? Yes. Um, look, I would be doing much the same, honestly. <laughs> honestly, if I want, if I, if I was having a go away party, I would, I would definitely want it to be nice and good. Right, I'm going to put you guys on the ending screen, but stick around. Uh, we are still putting a, a, a raid in as well, but I kind of want to like put the ending screen on for YouTube. So um, thank you guys for being here. I'll be punting you over to something doing in a moment. Say hi from me. It's not like I'm not going to be there as well. <laughs> Will do. You guys take good care. Yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs>